Nin explains the worst sports teams' names in history. It's commonplace for teams to have names these days. Chicago Bulls, Philadelphia Flyers, Oakland Raiders, etc. A name to strike fear into the heart of your enemy, or to make you sound tough or aggressive. But no one obviously told these guys, who have the most nonsensical and non-threatening names in all of sports. The worst name in basketball is the New Orleans Pelicans. Previously the New Orleans Hornets, they changed their name to create a new identity after they inherited the old Hornets name. Okay, so it's the state bird of Louisiana, I get that. But why does it sound so horrible? Is it because it doesn't go with New Orleans, or is it because the pelican is a very wimpy bird? You have to admit though, their logo is pretty awesome. The worst name in baseball is the Cleveland Indians. Calling a Native American an Indian is like calling an Italian American Frenchie. It's not even close. So to name a whole baseball team after an antiquated racial slur is a pretty poor choice. And whilst we're being racist, we could have also had the New York Jews or the San Francisco Chinamen. The worst name in hockey is the Iowa Chops. They actually had a cool name to begin with, the Iowa Stars, but for some reason they renamed their team after something you put on a barbecue. I'm guessing Iowa Steaks, Iowa Burgers and Iowa Chicken Wings was already taken. Fortunately they saw sense and moved to Texas to become the Texas Stars. Thank God. Honourable mention goes to the Minnesota Wild. I mean, what, what, why? The worst name in pro football is the Cleveland Browns. They're not named after the colour brown, which would probably make sense, but after their coach at the time, Paul Brown. Funny thing is, Paul Brown then moved to the Cincinnati Bengals, and they named their stadium after him. Awkward. Honourable mention goes to the Washington Redskins for the same racial slur reasons as the Cleveland Indians, and the Houston Texans, just in case you didn't know what state Houston is in. The worst name in pro soccer is Deportivo Wanker. If you're not from England or Australia and you don't know what a wanker is, it's an insult where you imply a person likes to masturbate. But nobody told this football team from Peru that, and when they came on a tour of England, they were instantly popular just because of their name. They sold more replica shirts in England in two months than they ever did back home in Peru, and they didn't really understand why their name was so funny. Honourable mention goes to the King Faisal Babies, a Ghanaian football team who probably isn't totally adverse to child slave labour. The worst name in college sports is... Well, there's actually several. UC Santa Cruz are called the Banana Slugs, possibly the most non-threatening animal of all time. The Rhode Island School of Design call themselves the Nads, where their mascot is an actual penis, and everyone shouts, Go Nads! The worst one of them all is the Scottsdale Community College Fighting Artichokes. Fighting Artichokes. I have never seen an artichoke attack anyone, let alone fight, and I'm pretty sure that all artichokes grow up to be slaughtered and eaten. Did I miss any out, or have you got one that's actually worse? Like the video, subscribe, and comment below.